All right, Ian. Yes. So um, originally, the um, the the console called the Intellivision Amica was supposed to come out October tenth, two thousand twenty. They took <laughs> and it was ready to ship. It was ready to ship. By gum. Yeah. Um, <laughs> And they took pre-orders for it back in March and April. They still are pre- taking pre-orders now. If you want the Galaxy Purple one on GameStop, it's it's a it's a very inexpensive three hundred dollars uh, for for the Galaxy Purple edition. Um, so, I guess in lieu of 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 of, of the console actually coming out, they decided to put out a couple of update videos for the video uh, for the Amico. They did a hardware video and a gameplay video, and I guess we'll go through the hardware video first. So it they uh, it was Tommy Tallarico, the, the CEO, uh, talking about the design of the console, with a with a couple of folks I guess who were helping with the design. Um, I, I think they, they I think he went to a company to, to, to basically said make, make, basically make, give me a, 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 an idea like I have an idea for a console. This is what how, how I want it to look. Make it for me. He went to one of these companies that, that did, helps design products. Sure. So he talked about he wanted Ferrari and Lamborghini uh, curvature on it. He has a car fetish. Okay, I don't know. I don't know how that's relevant at all, or why you'd want to tell people that. I just don't know, like why you want that to be part of your hardware video. But okay, uh, the one thing I'll say though, this is another pitch for investors. I, uh, this whole video, I don't see how any consumer or anyone interested in a video game console wants to know almost any of this information in this amount of detail. Like this is more detail than Nintendo would ever tell you about how they the, they were thinking about the design of a console or the plastics. Or, or the finishing or th- things of that nature. It's a very strange video. Yeah, um, it's 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 definitely. Um, I think it's definitely. It was more more towards investors. Um, people do like teardown videos, um, but when you're dealing with a teardown video, most people want to see, um, uh, like with the the PlayStation Five teardown video, you're dealing with some cutting edge tech there. Uh, learning about the chip technology learning about what's in there all this um EDR. what are we learning about with the intellivision well we're learning about what kinds of plastics and finishes are being used uh, and how thick the plastic is uh we're uh learning about the cooling vents yeah that was weird just real quick on that I'm not trying to slam the technology of cooling vents but like almost all electronic devices have some sort of cooling that's involved like hair dryers or like i like i don't understand like why that would be focused on like so much like that's common sense that you're going to have cooling for your game console um focusing on color choice so it's the centerpiece of your living room that was something yes. that was brought up many times during that video that i thought was that was putting a a laughable amount of undue importance on the intellivision amico uh in someone's day-to-day life Yes, and and that's what the one thing you want to get get on me and Ian for for being unfair. If you don't like us, um, we actually have not really knocked how this console physically looks. It looks cheap, the, like how it actually looks. The console, yes, it looks cheap. People online are saying it looks like a foot bath. It does. We haven't said that because I don't like making fun of how consoles look. Because it's it's really what they offer, what software, and how it operates. So I mean, why, the PlayStation Five looks pretty fucking dumb. But like that's the thing. The whole point is that like every console looks dumb. Like I'm sure people were making fun of the GameCube when it was announced because it's a fucking cube. Actually, but, I I always thought the GameCube and the Dreamcast were pretty sexy look, look okay. the console. Here's the point though. I thought it's for even for this product too low hanging fruit to talk about how bad the console looks. To me, that's the the last thing on the, on the list. But to have the audacity to me to say it'll be the centerpiece of your living room? Come on. I mean, come on, man. So um, they talked about, they did a couple minutes on the LED lights almost. Um, So so we already established that the the controller is going to have LED lights and, and they claim that some games are going are gonna to use the lights. You're going to look at the controller in order to figure things out. Like, like, oh, like, I guess the yellow will point down, so you click that button down for yellow or, in order to open a yellow... It all sounds button. very, very exciting. Yeah. Or, game-breaking. Or, uh, uh, game-changing. Uh, yes. Maybe or, game-breaking. Or, 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 like, I guess in order to solve a puzzle, if you're trying to defuse a bomb, maybe the colors will go... Uh, first of all, if you're colorblind, you're kind of fucked. Uh, if you're Ian, you're screwed. Yeah. I would have come to that. <laughs> 
But then the console is going to have, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, 40 LEDs on the console itself. No, someone will correct us if we're wrong. 40. 40 LEDs. So if you wanted to justify having gameplay elements on, on the controller itself, even though me and Ian always say it's really bad to have to look down at your controller to play th things and look back up. There's a reason why the uh, Wii U did not do a lot of stuff between the gamepad and the TV. They realized pretty quickly in that it's uncomfortable to have to constantly... It's not intuitive. Right. You don't have to constantly shift your focus and attention between two different objects. The The reason why the DS and the 3DS were able to do it was it was two screens and it was... But you could... They were both in the same... During your view. They were in the same field of view and it was rotating your eyes up or down. It's once you have to actually start moving your head, it becomes strange. Yeah, so I don't understand the LEDs on the console. Um, because if you definitely not want to look at your console 20 feet away, 50 feet away, to see what the hell is going on, if it has anything to do with on, what's on the TV, that's going to be insane right? to do that, to go back and forth between the TV, controller, co console. Like, that's nuts to do that. I mean, certain games it'll work fine with. Um, the stuff that they're doing that's going to be like the Jackbox games, um, which is not a new concept. Um, like the emoji charades or whatever the hell uh, they, they were showing. There are some game types where that will work, but it's not action games. Emoji charades, the pre-existing app game? Yeah, the pre-existing app game. Yes. That's an exclusive... So, aren't all these games supposed to be exclusive? Oh, yeah. Well, Ian, well now there's this exclusive feature that maybe we'll add a level and call it exclusive. Um, okay, so here's the point, is that that's there's no reason to put LEDs on a console. You're incre you're jacking the price of the console at least some dollars right there, and the, no one w will want to use it as like a light show element. Like no one's gonna do that. The older crowd's not gonna do that. The, the like the people that you're trying to get that played the Wii 15 uh, 15 years ago, 14 years ago are not gonna use that. Kids are not gonna care about that. You can buy a little LED device that does that shit for under 20 bucks if well, you want something like that. The, the problem is, is this is all, even if it is something that people like, it's all, this is all it's just tacked surface on surface deep novelty bullshit. It's just tacked on. Can we do it? Yes. Tack it on. You know, it has nothing to do with running a game well, console. No, the weird thing is, is I, I don't feel like it's tacked on because this has been something that they've been very proud of since the, oh. the very well, beginning. When I say tacked on, I mean it's an element that you're throwing on a game console just because you can do it. I felt that's it's, what you meant, but let, I, yeah, I, I, okay. I, I want I want uh, to be I want to be clear here that these these LEDs have been something I, that they have talked about since the beginning. They are not going to be game changing. Like I can put LEDs on a toaster if I'm making a toaster. Sure doesn't mean I should do it. I can have the toaster be the centerpiece of my kitchen and have a little laser LED light show while I'm frying eggs. Doesn't mean it's a good <laughs> idea or consumer wants it. That's the point. That's what I'm trying to say here. So so the, the big thing that I noticed on the hardware change on this, they showed the they showed the back of the of the of the console. And it had you had your standard what SD card, your your power uh, function was on the back of there. It had your HDMI out. The big thing that was gone, though, is now the Ethernet uh, jack is gone there. And I, I understand that could be a small cost-cutting measure. Um, but the reason I, I think that's... I would, I would love to have kept that if you're really targeting the older crowd. is It's just it's one less step. It's simpler. Set, it's one less step not to set up your your gateway and your Wi-Fi and dealing with that. If, if, you're, if you're in your 70s, Frank still struggles with Wi-Fi stuff. Like, that's not something, even you get used to it, you still have to wrap your head around it. Some people just don't get that stuff. Um, yeah, I'm actually, I'm not going to make a big deal out of it. It's a cost-cutting thing, and I think for 99.9% .9 of people, it's not going to matter. But I do think it's funny, because that was the first thing I thought of. Um, one of the things that's constantly harped on when it comes to selling this thing is that it, uh, it's simple. Everything else is too complex. Well, you should have left the simple option on there then, because with that, all you do is plug it in and go. Yeah, you don't is, have to find yeah. anything. You don't have to put in any passwords. It's just plug and play. This is not this is not a plug and play system. You have to be on the internet. You have to have servers. You have to download games. So yeah, it's just one extra step. Yeah. I hate to double back to the LEDs, but uh, okay. I just wanted to say real quick that the thing that I thought was funny in that video was Tommy um, saying that because of his experience in putting on live music, events uh he knows that lighting is important so that's why there's going to be lights on television <laughs> i don't 
There's no. <laughs> You're looking for that correlation I'm there. Looking for the correlation, but I'm not finding it. I'm not finding why 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 A <laughs> leads to B. That's very very strange to me. Okay. Um. They they revealed the the chip kind of not exactly which one it is. Um. Oh, there's wireless contact charging. You can get four to four hours of gameplay uh, for two hour charge. Okay, I'm not sure if it's good or bad. It sounds a little bit low, but whatever. Sounds That's, low, whatever. Uh, they're, they're, they're chunky. They're chunky controllers, so you know. Chunk boys. They're chunk boys. Um, so they revealed um, it's the Snapdragon. Uh, it's a Snapdragon chip. That's all they've revealed. They didn't yes. say which one. They said they're partnering with Qualcomm, which which means they're putting an order to buy Qualcomm Snapdragon chips. So. In, what, what is a Snapdragon chip? Snapdragon is a mobile chipset. Um, it's uh, Qualcomm's mobile chipset. It's been around for um, a while. That doesn't necessarily mean that it's right. old or outdated, but it's 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 not it's not like a brand new thing. Something. Snapdragon's been around. It's in your phones. Um, it's in your phones, and it's in the Intellivision Amico because the Intellivision Amico is just playing phone games <laughs> that you have to pay two hundred and fifty dollars for. Uh, to access for no fucking reason, no reason whatsoever. Um, um, sorry, just <laughs> starting, starting to feel <laughs> something. To again. Yeah. So, so it's interesting that people postulated this was a banana pie board uh, and, and chip in here. And from my hardware source, uh, who knows a lot about this stuff, he, he postulated that they probably were developing this originally on a banana pie board, which is like you know a twenty dollar off the shelf you know board and chipset uh, combo Android board. Um, so what, what he said was that you can get a Snapdragon chip as long as the same processing specs with the banana pie, you can just slip that boy, bad boy right into that board. Mm. And you can, maybe you get small, you'll get, you'll get an, uh, an upgrade on your, your power, but you, you can basically do that. So that's probably what the realm of, of what they're doing here. Maybe they, they see a small, a small advantage of using a slightly more powerful chip. And so that's why they're going for Snapdragon. But it's in the realm of that banana pie still, like whatever that's supposed to be, that 1.8, what is it, a quad core chip or whatever, something like that. I believe that's what it was. Uh, gigahertz, 1.8. Um, yeah, color choice. So it's the centerpiece of your living room. I, I, I man, we, 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 we give, we, we, we give, uh, we, we, we were not easy on the VCS, the Atari VCS. At least that looks like a, it has a sleek design. It looks like something. It looks like something. It, 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 the design of the, the design of the of the I famously said something about how it looked once you, you might have slapping some piece of, of body parts onto it because it looked sexy at the time so okay um, so they, they talk about taking design elements from the original television controller in this video which is, again it, that was what that was the first thing me and Ian said uh, when this was originally announced like why would you go back to that well when no one ever went back to it and no one likes that controller and again it comes down to the vanity of wanting it to appear yes. like the original television it's vanity it's vanity it's That's my it. favorite system so it's going to be everyone else's favorite system including this awful controller it was my favorite console when i was 10 so 10 year olds 40 years later are going to enjoy it as well like it's just it's just arrogance. That's what it comes down to. It's arrogance with your product. Yes. That's what it is. Um, even though they're not banking on the Intellivision nostalgia at all, you know, that, that can we forget that was thrown at us? Like, you guys are saying that we're not banking on the Intellivision. Like, really? You're yeah, not? I mean, you are, because you the are. only people who are interested in your product are uh, 50-year-old white dudes that sit around and say, yes, Tommy, sure. uh, on, on a podcast. Uh, a, f <laughs> a funny moment happened in this video at 8.55 in. It was it was a little um, I guess little promo video they shot pieces of this were in the August uh, uh, August fourth no fifth they they delayed a day a video they show a, a four people playing in television skiing uh, there they're all playing on four uh, of the controls oh no they're playing on their cell phones in the video yeah uh, in this promo video they're literally all playing with the cell phone layout on their either another android phone it looks like so i don't understand why you would even show that in your video especially when um, you have constantly said that these games can only be done with that intellivision controller and that's why you've brought no you've just shown that they can be done with a cell phone why are you showing that like why you couldn't get prototypes in their hands they didn't pretend they were and, and then and then they they put it they put out another demo they put out a demo for um breakout breakout one of the games we actually said looks good sure it does um but they put it. it on the pc 
Yeah, I played it. I played it with a with a mouse. Yeah, well, what did, what did you play? You played it on a computer I, I, I with a mouse. Yes. Yeah, no, I don't have a prototype of Miko laying around. I played it on my computer. So with you a played mouse. it with a mouse on a computer. Yes. Okay. Not on an television. No, I don't think so. That I mean, is I, necessary I that for was, these experiences. Even though it's it's past ten ten, there's not one out yet. So I played it on a computer. Okay, just making sure. Oh, I see what you're saying. You don't need the Intellivision and Miko to play some of these. Okay, okay that's why. Yeah. Yet to see any game that requires an Intellivision and Miko at this point. Um, okay, so that was interesting there. And then um, they talked they, they, they talk to the uh, Arc Electronics, who are, I guess they're the people that are going to oversee the manufacturing in China. They're, they're, they're based out of California. You had two, two guys in the company saying, we were so excited about the idea of bringing the family back together. These are guys that are like in their 60s or 70s. They're so excited at, at, at uh, checks being cash. That's what they're excited yes, about. Yes, exactly. They will manufacture whatever you want. That, whatever you, I want them to manufacture. If I want to do that to, that uh, toaster with the LEDs, I'm sure they'll be the guys I want to talk to to get it done. Yeah. So again, this is for investors, and, um, and they'll they'll gladly, I'm sure, shoot you a video, my video for that, that says minutes. that you're bringing breakfast back to the family. <laughs> I'm bringing light shows back to breakfast. Yeah, basically. Okay, so that was the first video they put out. Then they put out a gameplay video. By the way, before all this, they had technical difficulties. Uh, in, I guess streaming this live, and then afterwards they canceled uh, Tommy doing a Q and A from his uh, I don't know his his, his attic uh, apartment uh, office. So they were having problems with that. Um, so they did the gameplay video. I hear. Uh, we, I'm going to jump right to the, the, the meat of, of this. Um, what was one of the big selling points of the Amica supposed to be? Uh, besides the LED light show? Besides the light show. Um, these are games you can only play and access on the Intellivision. And they account. are exclusive games. They're, exclu right? they're all exclusive. Well, That's one of the things that was fired back from Tommy saying, well, you can't play these games on mobile because they're not available on the phones. Well, That was directly said. That's bullshit. Because uh, in that gameplay video, towards the end, we're just going to get right to. The, I, 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 this is this is where the, the important stuff is. Um, uh, they breathlessly announced that they had uh, gotten some branding partners back in August. Back in August, uh, Sesame Street. Uh, they had nothing to show for it, but they just showed it. Uh, Care Bears, um, uh, MLB. Um, well, they they showed some stuff with those properties. Uh, they showed some Sesame Street games. Um, that's nice. The Sesame Street games are all web games. That are available free at sesamestreet.org. Here's the big news. This isn't in television news. They didn't drop these early so you could go play them. No, they're just out there. You can go play them for free right uh, now. They showed Count Me to Sheep, Big Birds Basketball, Cooking with Cookie, and Cookies Cookies. They showed at least those four games. I, I identified immediately that, okay... And this is the problem with, with this at this point. Now, because of the dishonesty of the marketing campaign and the words of the CEO, now in my free time, I have to now try to go on the web or my phone and look up every goddamn game that is shown to see whether or not it pre-exists. And now it's a coin flip. Now it's like 50-50. Does this pre-exist or not? Like Nitro Derby, that, that VR game that was shown, that pre-exists. But you know, this, like, this is this is even crazier. I mean, this is this. I mean, no, this is fucking. This, no, this is embarrassing. This is an embarrassment. Free free web games, free mobile games that have been available for years. This is, web is, is what you're advertising your system can do. It's and embarrassing. Then, uh, Care Bears Care Carts uh, that they showed at the end um, is a mobile game. You that's can get the, that on your phone right now. That's the first thing I did now. The first thing I did was Sesame Street. I said, you know what? I'm going to look. I didn't see it on my phone. I went to the website. I, I, I looked up. I Googled Sesame Street uh, web games and, and accessed it from there. And I was like, well, this is where it came from. Right there. There's there's the guy. There's the little, uh, what was it? it? Sleeping in the bed. There was that. Which, which, which one was that? Is that Grover? I don't know. Uh, but then I looked up Care Bears on, and, I, and I found it. Like, this is what we have to do now every time, unfortunately, is is figure out is this bullshit or not. So um, if 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 you pre-ordered this console, you should you should you shouldn't feel embarrassed about this necessarily. You should you should feel alarmed yes. that this is what's presented to you as Excuse me, these are supposed to be games in development. At the beginning, it says, what does it say at the beginning? Early development. Work in progress, early gameplay demos. So this is what, if you're a YouTuber that's trying to make a, a some sort of name for yourself by doing these daily in television Amico videos, or you, 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 know, you, you talk to Tommy, 
I would I would ask him how many of these games from this gameplay update video are actually playing on Amico hardware. How many of them actually are, and how many like the Switch? Uh, what was that? Uh, let's see. What was that? That shooter on that's on the Switch. Like we knew that two months ago. They just took they just took footage from a trailer showing the Nintendo Switch version of that uh, of that shooter. So how many of these are actually running on the Amico? Because now we have to ask that every single time we we look at this. We have to ask ourselves that. Right. We shouldn't have to do that. We shouldn't have to do research. We should be, we, in theory, you should be able to trust what the marketing department of a video game company is telling you and not having to search out, well, this game is here. Evil Knievel's on a mobile phone. This game, Finnegan Fox, oh, this was a pre-existing game they're now pasting over that's, that already existed as, as Fox and Force. This is where we're at now. And, th- and it's not a joke anymore. This is, this is, this is serious to me. This is this is beyond House of Cards to me now. This is this is uh, damning stuff, like beyond damning to me to see this stuff. Is that how they're going to justify that it's exclusive? They're going to buy out old mobile games That's and put them on their console? Possible games that were free and get you to get you to spend two hundred fifty to three hundred dollars and then buy it on top of that. It's it's yeah, it's an embarrassment uh, to me to see that they showed updated cornhole. Uh, they showed Nitro Derby again, which is a pre existing game. Um, they showed the Pong game we love. They showed Snafu. Snafu looks cute. I like Snafu. It looks like it, that's that actually art design looks cute for that. To be honest, you like how Shark Shark looks? No. No, it looks like it was fucking kit bashed together from a bunch of different assets. It looks awful. Um, and the shark looks like a ripoff right out of that Shark Tale movie. Um, let's see what else. Uh, yeah, Evil Knievel. They showed they showed uh, I guess the early prototype build. I mean, early, they showed a, a pre, pre, pre alpha. It's a baseball game that looks like it was, it was tossed together within a week. Um, that I, I can't believe they showed this. I wonder if I can get something more complete for $1.99 on my phone. Uh, here's the thing about this MLB baseball game is that they're banking on the nostalgia of you played MLB baseball on the Intellivision, whatever that came out, 81 or so, 82. When that Intellivision baseball game came out, it was heralded and, and marketed as the most advanced baseball game at the time on a console. Yeah. It was advanced. They, Mr. Mr. Intellivision himself, uh, Plimpton, said, look how shitty the Atari one looks. This is how the Intellivision one looks. We actually have nine players on the field. Now, this is the worst possible looking baseball game that you can probably get in 2020 or 20. Oh, yeah. That's the difference. So now we've gone... We've done a, well, done a 180 on, on how the Intellivision baseball game was advanced, and now it looks like utter trash. Like, it, I mean, that's how they're marketing it, though, towards the nostalgia, you know. So, yeah, it's uh, it's nuts. Emoji Charades is a pre-existing game. Nitro Derby, Rigid Force Deluxe, like I said, that's the Switch game. So, um, yeah, if they, had, if they had said in the bottom of each of these games, this is footage from the mobile mobile game, this is fo- footage from the from the free web browser game. This is footage. That would have been better. It still would have been embarrassing, but it would have been better. So now I don't. Sh- so now when I see like, oh, there's a blank slate on here. I don't know if that's a pre-existing game. I don't know if that's only on the Amico. I don't know if that's a game being developed for for mobile apps that they're going to get a piece of. You know what I mean? I have no idea. I can't trust any of this anymore. No, we could barely trust it before, but now it's it's a toss up on on these games. It's a toss up. Did you like the improved uh, cornhole? It's no longer twenty frames a second. It's now like thirty frames. Yeah, it was nice. So it was smooth. So yeah, that, I mean that that's all that's all I'm gonna uh, say about about this at this point. I just I you can't you can't trust what's going on with this. You can't. If I was an investor already ex- investing, I would be pissed off because it makes it look like an amateur project. If I already have my money into this uh, project and I see that video put out, I'm pissed. I'm pissed. Yeah, I mean, I don't... Because now you have people like us pouring this stuff out and it makes your company look like like amateurs and unprofessional. Yeah, I, 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 he's, he's, he's so lost in thinking that the licenses and the branding is important that he's at the point where he's pushing 
literal web games as free web games besides the free mobile games as as features as selling points for his system it, it's nuts you'd be better off with no 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 branding partners if, no. if all you're gonna have on there is cheap trash that you can get for free elsewhere it, it's it's nuts let's see care bears care carts um it's a free download i can get it i can get it on uh, let's see, I get on Amazon can apps you? and games. Click oh. through. I don't think you can. Get I, I clicked through and it take it took me to well, a, a dead link. According to this, I can try to get it from my Fire TV stick, but you're saying it's it should be gone by now. Uh, when I clicked through a, a, a couple of links, when I finally clicked through and got to the point where it would get to the app, it said that that page was no longer available. Oh, I now own it on my Fire Stick. I just clicked on it. All so right. I will give you my Care Bear Care Carts review via my Apple. My, they're they're free again. They're free smart TV games. They are. You can sure. you can you can click on your, your 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 Samsung smart TV right now. There are games on there that you can download and play, like shooters, and there are like uh, physics, like uh, evil can evil type of games you can play. So that's that's the stature of games you're looking at right here on, on this console, unfortunately. So, anything else to add here? There was there was comments on NeoGaf. Obviously, everyone trashed this. It's not just five haters out there. It, no one really is l liking how this is looking. Yeah. Nothing to say.